Oh my god, I forgot I was set up. Uh, what up, everybody? How's it? Oh! Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Belly, it is your boy, you might just puke. Cookie Dough Plays, covering Moist Critical Reacts stuff. Please don't be like this guy. And I tend to agree with a lot of what Moist says. So let's let's just listen in on his newest video and react a little bit. Just chill, you know what I'm saying? And this will be an upload, so not worried about... ...upon seeing and listening to this unbelievable, embarrassing cringe. This is the worst <laughs> forming, the worst attempt at wooing a potential romantic interest oh, I've no. ever seen. This is like playing a visual novel and then scaring away all of your potential love interests <laughs> at once and getting the worst ending. Now, I'd like to give a bit of context here to this. I'm going to start making videos really like this because this is hilarious, y'all. Uh, and this video is going to end up the stream, guys, because well videos yeah. from a random guy just not who it reached today. out to her on Facebook because he had seen her on a dating app. The two didn't even match. And I guess he. Okay, so first off, let me. Moist is saying that, uh, that this man walked up to a woman he saw on a dating app, but they never had any interaction, is what I think, which off the bat is so freaking. Creepy! Mom! Must have assumed that it was some kind of glitch because they were destined to be lovers. Destined. It was fate that was pulling them together, but fate. unfortunately technology had a malfunction. So he took matters into his own hands, uh -huh. tracked her down on Facebook, of which she had no connection to the dating app. She didn't connect any of her socials to the dating app, so he did some super sleuthing to find her on Facebook. And so not only do we have a weirdo, well, we got a super sleuth, baby. <laughs> These people that literally go out and, like, stalk people literally online. I have stalkers. If you guys want to ever go through uh, those shorts again, we could do that. The pool? And reach out to her there to try and win her heart. Why not and, talk uh, to her on the dating app? Sorry, guys. If you've got a full belly, prepare yourself. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm keeping that um in the up in the upload because that's just uh cookie dough plays for you. Dating app. She didn't connect any of her socials to the dating app, so he. I will react to sub videos though. I'll connect it if you want me to. Facebook and reach out to her there to try and win her heart, and uh, let's see how that went. Kelsey, I love that intro right there. That's straight out of scary movie, <laughs> right? like that old commercial. What's up? <laughs> He's coming at her like their best friends. That's from a W way guy there. The wait, wait. He bro. then executes order sixty six and kills all potential for romance. He goes, I mean, uh, K, shit. He's a W, bro. Perhaps that was a tad overly enthusiastic. Hold on, hold on. Let me read me. this out. Kelsey. I mean, uh, okay, shit. Mayhaps that was a tad overlay enthusiastic for a stranger danger message on a sunny Friday morning. My bad. Let's go with, uh, I can explain. Fuck ya. That works. On a sunny Friday morning. <laughs> there is so much quirk to the way that he texts that I'm getting uncomfortable. I can say with a high level of confidence that he is definitely in some kind of theater troupe because he is typing like he's. I can definitely say with some sort of confidence that this man is schizophrenic and you need to run! Out some kind of this is going to be great, flight. you guys. It's, it's, it's a little much here. It's a little My much. Bad. Maybe Let's a little. With, uh, Maybe just a little. I can explain. Fuck yeah, that works. Then drops a couple of emojis and then one of these bad boys. <laughs> How she didn't immediately Call fall the police. in love with this man is beyond me. <laughs> this is aggressive. And it's already creepy. This is aggressive. You know what? Stranger who saw her on a dating app and then you tracked her down in order to, you know. You know what? Forget the damn mic stand, all right? We're doing a reaction here, baby. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? One, two, three, one, two, three really directly communicate make sure to her. share and like this video so, when i upload let's my go two over where things went wrong concurrence I, i'll go ahead and get the the playbook out like john madden and like say john where madden fell apart for the where to fall apart let's hear that let's hear from moisty start, break it down basically it, there is nothing that's even remotely salvageable from what he tried to do here there is nothing more annoying than texting 
like you're talking to yourself during the text. Like when you say something like, Kelsey, Hold on. I mean, oh, wait, shit. Hmm. Mayhaps that was a <laughs> Yeah, like talking to yourself in the freaking text, bro. Uh, bro, dude, Moist, I'm sorry, bro. He got the most riz on the internet. Dude, dude, dude he shows us he's ripped, bro. Got the long hair, ladies like, and he's had a girlfriend since he was like 15, bro. Sorry. Sorry, I disagree with that. That was a comment uh, when I upload this, so everybody knows that was a comment by my boy, by my boy Kaneki, uh, saying that Moist doesn't have riz and he's mad, and I, I would tend to disagree, but that's okay. You're allowed to have your opinion on my channel. Manny, there's your opinion. Let's go too far on a Stranger Danger Sunny Friday. Or afternoon. be like this guy, everyone. Mm, Whatever you choose. Gracious, how do I save this? Like, that. that is so fucking lame. That is shameful. He's that is trying not to laugh. That is downright shameful. I am Kaneki, shocked it's a joke. didn't drop like an asterisk I know, bud. nuzzles you, and then an asterisk I was, you there? Dude, people didn't even yeah, realize I just I just trolled my own so she said, chat Sorry, do I know live. You? And then it reactivates this oh, cringe no. protocol. He oh, says, hey. Oh, hey. No, we don't know each other. Sincere apologies for the subterfuge. The what? Oh, brother, this guy stinks. Holy shit, dude. This is starting to get a little bit scary, ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls, don't do drugs. And also, also, let the women text you first. Dropping subterfuge here in your <laughs> creepy approach to a stranger. <laughs> if you give me the tiniest bit of room, I'd be happy to explain. What? I reckon that set explanation will bring laughs and smiles. Bro, yes. he's like literally saying I need room to hang out to explain. Like, I can't explain in text. I can explain to you in person, baby. <laughs> this is great. Moist, you're a W. Sorry, babe, I'm doing, I'm laughing. I'm not trying to rope. At Jersey Mike's, they freshly slice yeah, your sub me. right in front of you. Oh, I'll skip which this guys. Don't worry, I'm on my next bug. Hope you into a pyramid scheme to sell fancy Tupperware yet. He's trying very hard to be self-aware, and when he starts sending his voice memos to her, he reiterates a thousand times like, this is weird, oh, you're probably going to think I'm weird, and then just keeps doing it. He sends so many voice messages that go for a long, long time. It's making my voice crack because of how fucking embarrassing it is. And you want to know the wildest part? I'm getting ahead of myself, and it's a spoiler. It's a spoiler. Yes, Sorry, my girl came in and I, women, I missed it apparently. for a second. Other women have come forward after this tweet. Oh, no. Oh, no. Other women have come forward. <sighs> Legit whacked. My my boy just said, yeah, that's A plus game. I need him to teach me and my boys. <laughs> and girls to do drugs. Whoa, that's a comment. W comment. W comment. All right, guys. I am sorry about that. I had my girl stop in. I missed what Moisty said. Uh, it's okay. We, we This is going to be an upload, baby. With my intro and all. And all of this, uh, the receipts here and all that went viral. With other receipts women went viral. showing their interactions with him. And he even uses like the exact same lines on other women, which is really odd. Oh, no, he's done this other women. 0% success rate. These these can't be working well at all. <laughs> it's so weird. So she decides to play ball here and explain open away Pandora's box to see what comes out. She says, "Explain away." Oh no! And he gives a brief, you know. He starts it with, "Oh God!" Cool guy thing. Oh God! I just spent. No, no, no! You started with, "Oh God!" I just spent sixty minutes singing to seniors with a mask on. I what? Dude, what? Sony Punk, what up? Hit that like button. What, bro? What? What is going on in reality, guys? Seniors and man, am I drained? But fuck it, I can do this. He's hyping himself up in the text messages he is sending to this girl. Oh it my god, so this is the third girl, guys. And if you're new, it, if you guys are just stopping in, right after that, he sends a voice message. Oh no, I'm hey, not ready. Kelsey, how's it going? Don't mind me. I fucking hate texting. I think we we're all better without it. So I usually use one of these when I can. Um, also, I don't know if you've ever seen that Key and Peele skit, but that's how I feel about texting. Jeez. I could go on. <laughs> but, um, I just want you to know right off the bat, I fully accept how fucking weird this is. I'm sorry, but like I said, I think if you give me a second, you'll probably end up laughing. And uh, not that you need my permission, not but you need feel my... free to just laugh directly at me. For Dude, I'm laughing directly at you right now, bro. I'm trying right to hold now. it. I do appreciate your stamp of approval. I and everyone... Oh my God, dude, exactly. <laughs> 
<laughs> Don't mind, dude. I'm gonna explain and you can laugh right at me. It's okay, sweetheart. We are gonna be dating soon. Else will be laughing dude, I'm gonna name this how to get a woman. I, I appreciate that you recognize <laughs> really what an unbelievably weird tier. thing. Bro, yeah, that voice, bro. I don't know Chat why you keep w. doing it. This is the first of many voice messages he said. No. Even after recognizing. No, don't do it, Moist. Moist with the receipts, weird dude. And embarrassing. Oh. <laughs> and sorry for the delay. I was gonna get sorry back for to you, the delay. Someone called about a gig tomorrow, and I'm trying to help them find. Sorry me. for the delay. Somebody called for a gig. He's he's bragging now. Mom, help me. This is too much for me, you guys. I can't. Also, I'm not sure if I'm fucking funny anymore. I just Is this guy serious? Minutes, like I, said, I need to know. Uh, playing guitar and singing to a room full of senior citizens, but the room was stuffy and hot. I had to do it with the surgical mask on, and I'm not sure if I have any funny or social energy left, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try and fake it right now. So thank you. Why does he sound like he's a voice actor? Like he legit sounds like he could do commercials, bro. Did you know I tr I tried voice acting for a while? That shit's hard, bro. This dude could... He sounds fake, dude. Is that AI? Thank you for your understanding of patience and... Uh, your Definitely not AI. Me. I'm a fucking idiot. Enjoy. He's actually treating this like it's some kind of movie Someone audition. For a gig. What are you I know, bro. About? What? I also just... I, I love that he immediately makes himself seem like <laughs> super busy. Like, hey, sorry for the delay. I yeah, know you were waiting on bated breath for my explanation, but I had to help uh, very big musicians find a gig. Uh, you you may have heard of them before. Bring me the horizon. Uh, yeah, I, <laughs> you may I, have heard I'm of them, but singer. I'm uh, sure so you have. I had a lot going on. Uh, I was double booked, so I had to give them a different band. You may have heard of them, Metallica. Uh, but anyway, let me go. You may have heard of them. Going on. I just Metallica. finished one of my own gigs, in fact. So I'm a little I'm a little drained, but don't be perturbed because I, I'm going to do my best to fake it. So stay tuned for uh, part two. It's it's coming right up. It, like he's he's about to go through his uh, stand up comedy routine, which bro stand up you know, comedy, you bro. Don't want to miss. You the trenches don't. of online dating for a couple of years, so I definitely know how to identify the kind of person. I'm like, eh, if nothing else, the world would be better if we were friends. <laughs> so <laughs> hear me out. Um, first of all, I never fucking see that shrug emoji. No one else uses it. It's typed into my phone. If I type if I type shrug with two G's, it just shows up. Same thing on my laptop. Like I'll use it in work emails. Fuck it. Um, so right away, I'm like, huh, interesting. I don't get it though. She's cute. For how pretty she is, she should be boring. Why does she seem kind of strange in a good way? That's a spectacular start right there. I was like, she's kind of pretty, so why isn't she like a fucking lobotomite boring dumbass? Like, she used an emoji that I really like, and she's pretty. Like, <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Pretty women can't have a- He's talking about not making any sense while I'm trying to make sense of it. Ma- personality but this you're man like not only flying all it's not good for the right world now. women he just keeps going on about this fucking shrug emoji he's talking about her bio don't do drugs on kids dating site and he just really fixates on that that shrug emoji is like cupid's arrow to this guy he fell in love instantly when he saw it in her bio yep i don't know why he thought it was a compliment to say that she's like strange and different in a good way because yeah. pretty women are like boring or, or whatever insinuates what that a, a pretty girl take. can't have a personality I don't know what the thought process was. Oh, he got that approach, so many women like that. Definitely a bold play. Um, I think you said something about live music. My job is actually live music. I play guitar and sing. I do about Ooh, 25 shows a month. Let me guess. Oh, um, now I did 25 shows a month. Uh, I th he sees something in their bio, and then he says he does it for a living to try to get them to like him. And he ha Dude, you could tell like he wrote a script, bro. He's literally voice acting this shit out, bro. I know Listen, it sounds there's no up, way this is I real like I invented the job it's redonkulous but I live very comfortably life is good um I do play at a lot of retirement homes and it's great for my self-esteem Kels as I am a big hit with women over 80 time out time out uh time out foul here. time out technical he foul I I get he was trying to be funny but you've never talked to this woman and you say I women over 80 80 80 is a is a great number 80 is I love over 80. He just dropped a redonkulous. He just said redonkulous. And then not only that. He in said his it. Only second voice message here. He's already just calling her Kels. They're not even on like a first name basis. She They're hasn't even responded. Acquaintances. They, these are two complete strangers and he's already giving her like a nickname. A what nickname. The fuck. Oh yeah. And just the night before I'd been talking. This is what I'm talking about, about the way he's talking, like, okay, just the night before, like, they're best fucking friends, dude. This is not Talking to one of my best friends in the world, Roxy, um, just people that, like, 
match you and they just write hey so if someone writes hey i just write hi and if oh. someone writes sup i go nothing much you and like people wow will match me and clearly haven't read so my original bio. folks will match and be like so what do you do for a living i'm like uh come on chelsea like yeah you're kind of cute but i'm pretty damn sweet try harder why are you even talking about this? You're like trauma dumping on this complete stranger right now that you've tracked down from a dating app. Trauma dumping on a complete stranger you tracked down. Ladies and gentlemen, do you understand that this isn't just some random girl? This is somebody on a dating site. He saw her bio and he tracked her down to get her number to send her text to find her on Facebook or all social medias. <laughs> to try and communicate directly with because you didn't match with her. What the fuck is Because you didn't match. Now you just going on about like, oh, dating apps are so weird. People just say like, hey. So then I'm like, hi. You don't know how to have a conversation. You didn't, you didn't read the bio that I painstakingly typed up. I spent a long time on that bio and now I'm offended. It, ridiculous. Uh, excuse me. Redonkulous. I don't know. It's just to see someone mention that in a bio, I'm like, thank you. I can see that you feel the same as me. Um, yeah, if people, yeah, you feel I, the I same as me. We can see that, young woman. Young lady, so I can see you same. You see just like me. Um, We're made for each other, can't you tell? And what's her face in that movie about dating? Is it he's just not that into you? Oh my. And he's like, if the guy's interested, he will call. And it's true. So I found a line a couple of years ago where it's like, effort will always match. He interest. will call. I'll show you how interested someone is. And like, I'm pretty goddamn sweet. And man. he did. I'm not that lonely, bored, or one. <laughs> I'm not going to take breadcrumbs from someone if I want a sandwich. So if someone hits me with a hey or hi, you can go fuck yourself. He's just sounding like a complete wow. asshole here. What a it's winner, guys. No, no, mean? we have the biggest winner ever on our hands right here, guys. Not only, not only is he dangerous to women, but this man is a narcissist who thinks he's God. He's one of those boys. He's one of those men that literally thinks he's like God's gift to women and uh, probably is a virgin. They can just go fuck themselves. But no one's even, like, what does this have to do with anything in this situation? This isn't even flirting. This is just blurting. He's just blurting out all the most blurting, not flirting in his head right now to a complete stranger. And I would say harassing. That, I would go that far. not even his first take. I bet he recorded this like How can one human have so much game? Like, I know, bro. One. This was smooth. Guys, th that's what we got. How can got one human have so much game, bro, that they can come up with like those type of messages? They can sound like he must have been on the most expensive microphone. He EQ'd it. He compressed it and made sure that that sound came through perfectly. I am a sound engineer. I'm telling you right now, that guy recorded those messages on a quality setup. <laughs> <laughs> the final product. This isn't even like the first draft. Take that, that Moist. I doubt, which is, that's mind blowing. My, mind mind blowing. blowing. Damn it. This is where the Kelly Clarkson song comes in. Um, what? But, uh, yeah, no, your bio is just, there was so much intentional this... effort put in. And honestly, the more I scroll down in the pics, I'm like, this does not match up. I don't want to sound like an asshole. Like, attractive people can also be interesting and funny, but it's it's just incredibly rare. I speak uh, speak for myself because I'd like to consider myself one of those. That's the end of chapter what two the from the voice hell? memos. Oh, but don't my worry. God. Don't There's worry. There's still a finale, and it's it's the extended director's cut. The next one's over five minutes. Fu Dude, are you guys are you guys truly ready for this? Because I don't know if you are, and I don't know if I am, but we're gonna give it a shot, guys. We're going to give this a shot like this guy uh, does out of the dark here. Let's go. It's long. Also, he strap your seatbelts up. Whole, like, Parental yeah, advisory. You have a personality, which that just does not happen. I don't know why he thinks that that's some kind of like grand compliment. It's very odd. Now, before playing the five minute, 30 second monologue oh, no. here, uh, he must have seen that she listened to it. He's like, ah, gotcha. Yeah, dude, I got so right you saw me on like, Bumble and found me on Facebook, how? And then she says, dude. So he doesn't even have to play it yet. Ladies and gentlemen, dude. So you saw me on Bumble, which is a dating app, and found me on Facebook, how? She's even like, how? How? We got a hack or two. With oh, dude, the god of Riz, dude, the god of hacking. The god of harassing is. Who? Who is it? I wonder I wonder who it is. I wonder if we're going to find out. Is Moist going to give us the juicy goods the moisty juicy goods let's find out you saw me on bumble and found me on facebook how clearly very creeped out by it understandably and then he goes by the oh, way I moist critical is a giant Kelsey, w and i guess i got lucky i figured because you put live music we might have some friends in common or something i blame zuckerberg and then laughing emoji. <laughs>
Which I like that. That was pretty funny. I blame Zuckerberg. Constantly talking and all right. Sorry, bio, sorry, sorry. I one more time. Sorry, I got to cut off the big man moist, but I do got to give him credit for that last line. I blame Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> <laughs> that made me laugh. Oh boy. I think he's referring to all like, right. Dating five minutes. Buckle up, boys. Bio, especially because he does mention like online dating with haze and highs and shit. So I don't even know why he thought that would somehow save the situation. Like save the situation. What? What? For situ the love of fuck. I was like two minutes into one and it was awesome and funny and I was so proud of it. And then someone called me again about a gig this evening and it's like another you know, gig, guys. Your friends know you're busy or you're on a date or something. And then that's when they decide to call. Jesus Christ. Excellent. On my thousand dollar microphone. Kiss. This is how you start a, a romantic message. Oh, for the love of fuck. I was OK, I just did this and got a restraining order. Did I do a good you were cookie? Gonna <laughs> love it, you were going to love it. Wait, what? Trust me. But then Dude, one it's going to end my stream. Why? friends. Called me about a What's gig. What's going on? Because I'm so busy being a successful no way, live musician. Can you believe that, Kels? We're Can back. We're back. Like we're things, back. You know, where like we both go on dates, right? I go on dates. Clearly, we're back, guys. We're back. We're back. Sometimes when you're just busy, people call. It's Jesus back. Christ. But yeah, no, your bio was just the fucking bee's knees. I mean, listen, top three in like the hundreds or thousands I've seen. It was just sorry I about the I'm little slowdown there. That's gonna suck for my upload, like but my it is what it is. And I'm not saying we're starting to happen. I don't know you and you don't know me. That's a hundred percent correct. You don't know each other. So why are you doing this? Oh, I know. This why. is not how you get to know someone. This is concerning. Also, you should never admit to seeing hundreds or thousands of dating profile bios. That makes you sound very desperate that you spend all of your time on these dating apps perusing it cruising around and if you don't match with someone you found attractive or interesting based on their bio you go out of your way to find them elsewhere to try and talk to them which is very scary behavior i fully accept how strange and unconventional this is i just i got a vibe and i figured i gotta go with it i was like in a really good mood that day i don't know <laughs> I'm totally winging it, but um, yeah, a lot of my close friends are women, and everyone. All right, we got disconnected from the plugged-in line, but we are back. Or an ex just won't leave them alone. Or going what did I miss? Fuck, dude, I've had to block a few numbers of crazy people that didn't know they were crazy. So I uh -huh. really apologize. I'm pausing. I've had. I, don't mind. I've had to block a few numbers that I knew were crazy. All of a sudden, my I, like my my thing got disconnected. Uh, by my landline, and I was off the Wi-Fi. So that's why we had the little stutter there. Glad you guys are still here with your boy. In any way, like, triggered that, or it was weird, or whatever. Uh, Kelsey, that's the furthest thing from my Why attention. is he saying her name? I just wanted to say howdy, and I figured if I talk like an idiot, you'd probably feel like I did after I looked at your bio. It's so close. You'd probably He's feel like I did after I looked at your bio. Him saying all of this out loud should have led to this eureka moment where he was overcome with immense shame. And he just presses the eject button and deletes the voice memo and doesn't <laughs> doesn't continue this conversation. Yeah, like he's clearly that's what a W Chad would do. How but weird all of this is. He's we got we got the God of Riz on our hands, guys. Women who you know have stories about having to block crazy people who didn't know they were crazy. Yeah, like case in point, what you're doing here, but you keep trying to like make it seem like it's not weird, even though you do keep acknowledging how weird it is so, like, <laughs> you're, you're fighting like a battle against yourself in your own messages you are calling yourself well this is what Moise didn't point out like he's literally three different people in the same messages like talking to himself out loud to this lady like about like he does this and that and then he's thinking this and that but he's really this and that and he hates this and that this is a full-blown crazy person who has spent the last 40 years of their life doing drugs or not taking their medication front of the person that you're talking to as well it's really they weird. try to stop the stream oh, okay it's not fair you've seen mine or sorry i've seen yours and you have not seen mine if he you want even i responded bumble bio i'm quite proud of it i think it's pretty fucking good it represents me well and um what else would i want to know if i was you gee i'm like six feet tall um pretty damn handsome i'd give me like a seven no like a seven and a half out of ten <laughs> I mean, to my knowledge no one has dated me right. for my abs or my hair i'm guessing it's because i'm funny and honest and clearly oh. very humble and go to therapy and emotionally intelligent it's not a job interview bro, bro is you this don't need to be giving your resume here i don't Mother even the resume bro where do you like where do you come up with these words and this explanation of yourself like who looks in the mirror and says that <laughs> just stop 
Yeah. It, 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 I, I, yes, very intelligent. Please. It probably took him <laughs> an hour gracious. to write that. Yeah, maybe even an eight. I'm feeling really fucking good lately. I got a tan. I'm up to like 80 second side planks. I hate them, but they're totally worth it for the core. <laughs> Big feet. So you know what that means, baby doll. Big socks. <laughs> um, no. No. You're scaring me. No. Yeah. You, you are scaring me. You're scaring me too. Why would you do that? Like, do you, King of Riz here, guys? All right. Do you realize how scared this poor girl must be? Oh my God, Mom! Why don't you ever come to my rescue, Mom? What? I didn't know what I was getting from, myself from, into, boys, but it's gonna be a great upload. No strikes from Moy. Jump shot, my boy. He, he immediately goes into, "I've got big feet." You know what that means, baby girl. Oh my lord! Yeah. Please. Did you see my have face mercy. when it, when I have heard it? Mercy. Why? Yeah. Have mercy why? on these poor women and me. What else? I feel like I didn't tell you enough about the bio too. That shrug emoji. Yeah, just, bro, dude, got that riz. No ifs, ands, like, or buts about like it. Kaneki princess, says. You use that. I'm like, fuck it. I gotta talk to her. So, um, oh, I was definitely getting strong Kirsten Bell vibes too, and she's awesome. Kirsten I don't know if you Bell listen to her husband's podcast, oh. Armchair Expert with Dak Shepard. I know it's quite the reference, but I have a feeling you might know what that is. One of my favorite episodes. Wait, 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 bro. He lost me a long time ago with this poetry, flowetry, and action. Yo, we are listening to pure poetry. Actually, um, is it Lauren Graham that plays Lorelai? She was on there. Anyway, I am um, all Name. over the fucking place. This is my, my job. You're also all over the place in this one-sided conversation. <laughs> now you're shouting out podcasts. <laughs> talking about fucking shrug emoji again. <laughs> again. <laughs> it's, it's hurting me listening to this. Uh, it, it is, we scheduled what eyes in alive. Everyone out there watching this, or your upload. Just don't do nice. anything even remotely like this. Never engage in a one-sided conversation. Yeah, I'm gonna do my thank you, you uh, be the one uh, video for you guys after I upload this and really make a exist. thumbnail. Uh, but I'm sitting here, a middle-aged guy in his car with the AC on and his. I knew he was middle-aged, forty. And I would call this like the technological version of you know when like Noah stops Allie in the notebook and he's like, I just what? I had to talk to you when I see something I want. <laughs> yes, I just made a notebook reference. I don't know. Yes, I, I just I made a notebook reference. Right now. So if nothing else, I figured. Bro, no risk got here, bro. You just referenced the notebook and a girl you've never talked to, bro. It's over. It's over for you, son. You'd have a it's not even smile. over, like, dude. You can fucking make fun of me to your friends. I don't know. Now you have a solo podcast for a guy that makes like six grand a month on a microphone being an idiot. See? He was right. This is I was right. That no, no, I was right. Laugh. He's a voice actor. He just said, I make $6,000 a month on a microphone. I told you guys, dude, he's literally scripting this shit, using his voice actor voice on a good microphone to leave these messages. This just got 10 times bigger. Moist missed it, bro. Moist missed it. Come on, buddy. For about and have a big smile on even though it's face, just another lie but bro situation and then out of nowhere he drops like his salary from his job like to flex he's just like yep no other word for it Kaneki. which i mean riz it's, kids. it's an interesting strategy yet again this <laughs> this guy's got a wild book of tricks I'm sorry, I don't normally bring up money, but I feel like I created my job out of thin air and like I just submitted my 2022 taxes and it's <laughs> been getting so much better the last few years. So I'm quite proud of it. That wasn't me trying to uh, impress you though with money. Oh no. I got way more impressive shit than that. Uh, it just yeah. slipped out. I hope we can still be friends. Anyway, that just slipped um, out. I hope we can I, still be friends. There, you saying that clearly made you uncomfortable. You could have just deleted this and, and just tried again. Though I don't think you should have tried again regardless. This shouldn't have happened to begin with. But you yourself just made... You just made yourself puke in your mouth. When you said you're... Your... You just made yourself an internet sensation because you're on Moist Critical's channel. Congratulations. You know, six grand a month. I, I hope he shows his name, man. Oh, please, Moist. And, do and, and he won't dox him right. like you that. He can't dox him. Because he's not like Why? a creator. You look like a goddamn Disney princess. The bio completely floored me i felt like it was written by a friend or something i just got like like it was written by a friend super cool um gregarious happy person vibes. gregarious and, uh, yeah so listen i'm an open that fit book. perfect you probably figured that out like six over shares ago if you have any questions six for me, over shares please ago please hit me don't be shy uh, if you want i'll share my bio i feel can like i just unfair, ask a question but, you know, who I leaves a seven minute message at all to a girl ever like, bro, I'm going to tell you right now, dude, you can be the nicest man in the world. If you leave a woman the first time she ever opens your message, a six-minute message, you could be talking about anything. You're done. 
have seen yours and you haven't seen mine. I'm quite proud of my bio. Oh my God. This entire situation has been nothing but overshares from you. She's not going to ask you any questions. No sane. You answered every would. question. It's what questions are there to happen. ask? This whole thing. He literally explained his whole life plus all the lies to her. And once again, hung up on this fucking bio thing. They're just bios. Most people write them in 10 seconds. I, I don't know how long. I'm sorry. I got to make the point. Literally, even my YouTube bio, like I, I've edited it like five times. But let's be real here. It took me like 20 seconds. He spent like finally crafting Good his. Good point. But that is not the norm. I, I'm sure she didn't spend days coming up with her bio on here. I don't know how it, it resonated so strongly with this guy. But I bet after this whole song and dance, the, the woman here immediately just deleted the, her whole account. Or at the very least, removed the bio entirely. Um, yeah, for the 80th time, I apologize if this was weird. Uh, the 80th like time, uh, try like 800th um, time. Yeah, I gotta drive home now. No way. I gotta go sing at a bar in Mississauga, and I have four And then his message weekend, after. And it hurts to talk. So oh my. <laughs> I'm sitting here in my car like a jackass. And uh, yeah, I hope that all made some kind of sense. And if nothing else, please take the sincere compliment. I've seen hundreds of ladies run, bottles, probably thousands. And yours was easily top three. The only reason I'm not giving you number one is because then it would seem like I'm lying. But I'm oh. a very genuine, honest person. My God. And uh, yeah, the only reason I give you one because it would seem like I'm lying. My favorite swan couple, Mr. Plump and Mr. Pl and Mrs. Plumfet. They just had babies a couple weeks ago. So oh, like, I'm done. Up and they recognize me and the babies are squeaking. The higher hierarchy of like waterfowl cute babies it goes swan babies then ducklings and then goslings but um yes i may or may not do that four to seven times a week i'm a huge animal lover dogs are better than cats cats suck sorry if you have cats but i'm sure your cat is cool that was one of the most peculiar lies i've ever heard you're going to stop at the park most peculiar lies that's one of the most peculiar lines i've ever heard Holy crap, I didn't... Dude, I knew this world was crazy. I know there's some very, very ill people in this world. But please, like, honestly, like... These type of people really need help. They need to get on some medication or be locked up. Because something bad is going to happen. What happens when he gets so frustrated with these girls responding badly to these messages that he actually, like, physically does something? Or, you know, it's, it's actually scary while we're laughing, but... On Ooh. the way home, so you can visit your favorite swan couple, Mr. Plumph and Mrs. Plumfet, because they just had babies a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I was lost. And they recognize you? you and get excited and start squeaking when you come by. Like you're part of the family, part of the crew, part of the ship. What universe? What the fuck? <laughs> That's not even something. I mean, Dr. I don't have Seuss to say much when Moist like is covering it, y'all. Side plot in a story. This is the, that is, that is the biggest lie I've ever heard for no reason. For no reason. For, for Did no you hear him when he's, for no like, reason. The, the quirkiness is overloading. Like, yeah, I'm overloaded, bro. Over on quirk. Wow. And, uh, yeah, take the compliment. Anyway. Uh, take that. This Just totally take that compliment. Day, opposite of my intention. And, <laughs> uh, yeah, your bio was fucking awesome. I mean, there's a couple other assets I noticed too, but I cannot mention Dude, them. Dude, the bio. Like, Fuck boy, so I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm sure you've worked very hard to be in the shape you're in, but... He literally just like, contradicted himself and called himself an F-boy. So oh I my figured, goodness. If you are half as funny as you seem to be and half as cool as I got from that bio, I would say howdy. Um, yeah, all right. Hope this made you laugh and smile, and uh, you have a fantastic old day, Kelsey. Cheers. And that's the, the grand finale of this the whole grand situation. finale. And what a journey it was. I what a journey. find this to be probably the best example of the worst approach to romance imaginable. And like I said, this was not an isolated incident. <laughs> he's done this before. Yes, sir. <laughs> like, he, he, and he's even used the same lines before, which is so, it's so wild. It's so wild. I had to talk about it. I had to. So I had to watch it. Really I had to. So, yeah. 365. When it's past oh, hot bro. Noon. This has been your boy, Cookie Dough Plays with another one. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, leave a comment if you did. Otherwise, go find a YouTuber you like and hit subscribe. Also, if you like this, check my channel. I do reactions, IRLs, lives, uploads, breakdowns. Go check it out. I love you all. Mom!